Hi. Hey everyone, we are in Lakeland, Florida. We're about to head to the Lakeland Downtown Farmer's Market. Very excited. Drew's sister and brother-in-law live five minutes away. So we're gonna try to hit it up hit it up every Saturday and just see which one's the best. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head there now. I wanted to show you guys where you should park because my brother-in-law grew up in Lakeland so he knows what's up, he knows the drill in Lakeland. You wanna park at this parking garage and I'll put the Google like link in my description, but it's called, Ma it's on Massachusetts in Maine. So on Massachusetts, I can't, that's such a hard word, in Maine. And then you can park anywhere in the parking garage and I think it's free. Let's go look at the, the like tag thing. Okay, so you walk up to there, we parked right there. There's the entrance and this is what it says. So it's free today, yay! I'm excited, I'm really pumped that this boba stand is here. I got it last time I was here, like four months ago, and it was really good because they have like real matcha and dairy-free milk with really good boba tapioca balls um, and then some like Thai Asian places. I mean, honestly, it's one. You might as well get some food. It's one of their favorites. So we have this whole row and then you turn this way and then it goes all the way down. Jada says she's getting that. And then there's these Japanese rice balls, really yummy. And then Thai food. Guys, do not come here after 12 because things will be so sold out. The boba sold out. There was no chicken at the Thai place. So come in the morning, no later than one, okay? So just note that, lesson learned. Here's downtown Lakeland. Looking cute. Jada, would you tell the people to come earlier than one? Uh, <laughs> like 9 a.m. if you can. <laughs> yes. If, if you don't have two kids, come, come when? Like 8, 9 a.m., like right when they open. Listen to the Lakelanders, the guys. We uh, we missed that today. It's okay. We missed the window by it's, a few hours. It's fine. What's here? Uh, juice. Mango. <gasps> Oh, oh. Some juices, y'all. Here's some plants. Fresh seed. They have poppy. They have boba. Wait a second. Oh, sheesh. We might have to drive to a boba shop. ไม่ค่อยอร่อยรสชาติไม่ไม่เหมือนแบบไทยๆโอ้ยพูดเก่งรสชาติไม่เหมือนไทยๆใช่เลยแบบไม่ค่อยมีไม่ไม่เผ็
you can do like any type of boba, mm-hmm. right? They like have jelly, a bunch of yeah. coconut jelly, chia. They do chia boba. Chia boba. <laughs> What's that? It's basically like the chia seeds. Um, they're like soaked and like they have kind of like a little bite to them. It's really cool. I don't yeah. know. It's just like okay. Yeah. Well, I'm here for three weeks, so we're we're coming back. <laughs> We're gonna go get our nails done after this at Coho um, Nail Salon. Yes. She's never been, but nope. we're new experience for both. <laughs> doing <laughs> early bird special, so stay tuned for the nail salon, y'all. All right, y'all. We just got here. It's called Coho Nail and Spa. I'll put the link in the description. It's a grand opening, twenty percent off. Services over twenty-five dollars. Um, so I'm not gonna film much. I'll show you guys what our nails look like now and then after. Like literally this guys, we just got done. Why is it so the Florida I sun, know. y'all? <laughs> and that's on like lowest okay, I'm I apologize. We just got <laughs> done and let us show you guys our nails. <gasps> look! Yay! Jada got show us like this. Jada got the really cool like half moon vibe. Yep. And then I kind of got influenced by her and got um, <laughs> neutral tips, but we love. Yes. Yes. We are. Oh, look at the new nails. I'm using my phone because I'm too scared of my camera being in Goodwills. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my thrift with me video in Dallas. But Jada and I are in Goodwill. And well, if we buy stuff, we'll show you a little haul in the car yes. after we eat because yes. we're hungry. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the outfit of the day some slides, vintage slides, thrifted Target dress that I love, very comfortable. And then this bag that I just found, not a part of my outfit. So cute. Hello, we are headed to the thrift store today. For a second, I'm in between meetings. I just had a meeting this morning for my work and then I'll have another one in about an hour. So guys, the Florida is, is another level of heat. Um, and it's the first day of fall today. So happy first day of fall. I'm in a tank top, but I got my fall colors going on right here. I'm filming another video besides this weekly vlog. Um, the Jordy collaboration video. So if, I don't know if this is gonna be before or after, but um, if you see me in this get up in another video, you know why. We are headed to a store called Lighthouse Thrift. It is down the street from my sister-in-law's house. That's why I'm able to go in between meetings is because it's on across town. I went the last time I was in Lakeland, but never showed you guys or filmed it or anything like that. I had a lot of fun at the store, found a lot of goodies, found one of my favorite vintage bathing suits. So I'm not looking for myself um, this time. I'm looking for Jordy uh, for our Pinterest outfit collaboration. So if this video is before or after, you guys just go check it out or stay tuned. And it's gonna be a really fun collaboration because we're not thrifting each other like random pieces of clothing. We're doing a challenge where she sends me a photo of an entire outfit and I have to thrift the entire thing from head to toe. I already have one of the pieces, so I'm going to look for top, bottom, and shoes. She is a size 11 shoe, which is harder to thrift in my experience. Um, so I hope that we can find her something similar to the photo. You guys remember when I went to, oh, drifting, <gasps> drift racing. Okay, remember when I went to the when we went to the nail salon the other day with my sister-in-law? I it's growing on me. She did the wrong color. I didn't really get to um, say that part. She completely did the wrong color. I asked her even before she started painting. I was like, "Are you sure that's the same color I chose?" And she's like, "Absolutely. The layers are gonna create a dynamic color. It's gonna get darker. It didn't get darker." It's the same light. I don't even know what this color is called. It's like, can you guys see that? I don't even know what it's called. It's in between neutral and purple. Not my fave. We are legitimately pulling into the store right now. That's how close it is to their house. But I'm not gonna vlog this part. You guys just have to go watch that video. So I'll see you possibly tomorrow or like whenever I pick up my camera again for it this little vlog. See ya!
Why does this always happen to me? For reals, every time I go to the nail salon, something happens, drama happens, and I just walked in to get my chipped nail after four days of use, which should not happen for Jill. You guys know this. I'm just venting to you guys now. But if you get your nails done, you know. If you get gel, it's supposed to last like two weeks, right? So I just got a chip, went in, and I already didn't really wanna say anything because I just don't like to complain. And before I left the appointment on Monday, I knew that I got, she picked the wrong color. I just knew, my sister-in-law was like, no, that's not the color you picked. I didn't wanna say anything because I liked what was on my nail, but it just, literally was like five shades different than what I wanted so I didn't say anything I should have that's my fault because I don't really know nail salon etiquette I just didn't want to be rude she was so rude to me when I went back in there and all I asked all I said was could you um because I called them and they said yeah come on in come get it come get it fixed for free I walk in and I said can you um fix this ship this chip part and she was like, yeah, I can fix it. And I was like, I just want to let you know, also, I'm not saying like I want the whole set redone because I know that's a lot of work. Um, I just want to let you know, um, it was the wrong color. So I don't know what this color is that you put on my nail. So I can't tell you, you know what I'm saying? Like she was about to redo that one thumb. And I was like, can I show you the, the color I actually picked? And I showed her and she was like, that's not what you picked. And I was like, yes, it was. So she was like, well, I'm not doing that for free if you're gonna do the whole set done. And I was like, I didn't say I was gonna do a whole new set. I didn't say I was gonna do a new color. I'm satisfied with this color. I just want my chipped nail fixed. So she's like, okay. And the owner was like, yeah, if you want a new color set, it'll be $20. She walks over to the color wall, stands there for five minutes because she doesn't remember what color she put on my nails because she picked the wrong nail color and so I was showing her I was like I can't, literally can't tell you what color you put on my nails because it's not what I picked and so she was like no I I know you didn't pick that color I know you picked this color and I was like awesome can you find it and she was like you're just gonna have to get a new set I can't find that color and I was like well then can I have a discount because it's actually not my fault that you did the wrong color and it's not my fault that you can't remember what color you put on my nail because you did the wrong one. She said no, got up, went to the manager and told her basically deal with this person. And I was like, great. I didn't really want you to do my nails anyways because you were just going to probably intentionally mess it up again. But the manager slash owner was incredible, like didn't make me feel judged. I'm the customer. You're supposed to make customers feel com like comfortable and welcomed. And this lady was just so sweet and she was like, yeah, I'll do it for $10, like half off because it is, you know, kind of your fault and my fault, our fault. So let's meet in the middle. And I was like, awesome. I can do a whole new gel set for $10. Very understandable and affordable. So I just got a whole new set and this was the real color I chose. I chose um, more fall. The one she gave me was like purple. Do you guys remember? But yeah, I love the actual color that I picked, so that's good. Ending the week with a little dip in the community pool and it overlooks a lake, so pretty. I'm in my double polka dots, thrifted, thrifted, thrifted. This was like brand new when I got it. Um, but yeah, the polka dots make me feel classy by the pool. We're just gonna take a little dip. Say goodbye to the weekly vlog. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.